Avengers Infinity War is finally here. It's directed by the Russo brothers and it stars three Chris's, one Robert, about three Toms, I think, and many other people that I cannot begin to name here because that would occupy the entire runtime of the review. This film has been building up for 10 years. We all went to the Marvel movies to come to this combination, and now this film has Thanos actively on the hunt for the Infinity Stones, so every hero we've met until this point has to unite forces to stop this incredibly looming threat across the universe. Now, of course, it's not news that everyone is excited for this film in one way or the other, myself included, if you cannot tell. I have been a fan of these films for 10 years, I have been a lifelong fan of these characters and their stories in the comic books, so suffice it to say, this film had a lot to live up to. And it does. Marvel has done it for 19 movies, for the most part, and they've done it again in this. Thanos is an incredible villain. Not only does he look incredible, the detail on his skin is absolutely tremendous. Josh Brolin gives an incredible performance as Thanos in the motion capture and with his voice. And Thanos as a character is a lot more compelling and in a lot of ways that I did not expect. He does have motivation and you understand his motivation, not that you agree with it, not even close to that, but you understand where he comes from. In fact, I would go so far as to say that Thanos is indeed the main character of this film. From beginning to end, he poses an incredibly gigantic threat. A threat that is unmatched so far in the MCU. I love this villain. Thanos surprised me in a lot of ways and in fact the way they depicted Thanos as a character and how powerful he is and how much of a threat he is really had me going in this film. And with the way they used Thanos in this film, the Russos create this constant sense of hopelessness, of tension, from the beginning because Thanos is not playing around. You get it, you understand it, you fear him and you have no idea what he might do next because of how this movie starts. And of course this film stars a lot of our favorite superheroes, Iron Man, Spider-Man, Captain America, Black Panther, Thor, Doctor Strange, the Guardians of the Galaxy, the Incredible Hulk, the Winter Soldier, so many Again, I can't name them all. And the last time we met the title characters of this film, they were separated and the Russos really did cherry pick what characters they put together, be them characters that knew each other before or characters that are just meeting in this film. They made combinations in this film with what characters work together on one place and what characters work together on another to really bring out the best out of each character and their dynamics and their character traits. In fact, they are so self-aware of who these characters were, what they became throughout this universe and what they are now at this point in time that they really do poke fun at themselves. There are moments of humor, but this film is never funny to be funny. It's never a comedic film. The interactions of these characters come from the place that you know they would exactly react like they do and say the things they do at certain points in this film. I loved each little troop of characters that were together in this film and when you have them in so different places going to accomplish such different missions, the film has this sense of building up to a combination that the climaxes of this film really bring out the best of each and every storyline that is going on here. As the characters do, they do bring the best out of each other. These characters have never found a threat that could even match Thanos, that even came close to matching him. And in a film you see that and you feel that because you see that these characters are constantly trying to find a way just to be on his level. You never feel that they know what they are doing. You never feel that they see they have a chance. You never feel yourself that they have a chance and they are constantly outmatched in this film. The danger is constant in this film. And of course this film has tons of action sequences and they are incredible. The Russos proved it with Winter Soldier. They went bigger and even better in Civil War. They went even bigger in Infinity War. But apart from so many incredible action sequences and they are incredible, the film runs on a lot of emotion, on a lot of raw 
emotion. These characters have come from places, they have backstories, they've been through stuff, together or separate. And the Russos bring out the best of these characters in this film. Zoe Saldana as Gamora is incredible, and with this film, she was already before, kinda, but she is now definitely my favorite Guardian. If you like Tony Stark's arc throughout the MCU up until this point, you will not be disappointed. This man has been through a lot. And again, he's so self-aware of what he has been through that you cannot deny how big of a character arc this is for Tony Stark, how big of a culmination this is for his character. And they are also aware that some of these characters have not been through any of these experiences or even something remotely similar before, like Spider-Man. This is entirely new to him. And Tom Holland gives an incredible performance that at some point brought me to tears because he is the kid in this. He is the fan, like us, that unlike us became one of the Avengers and he's now in this world with this mission to try and save the universe. But of course we cannot forget the heart of the MCU and that is Steve Rogers' Captain America. Chris Evans probably gives his best performance in this film. He is very subdued in here, more than I ever thought he would be. He went to places that I didn't think Captain America would go to. And that applies to most of the characters. Thor in this film goes through a lot. He has suffered so much throughout his films throughout the Avengers films and of course we know how much he suffered in Ragnarok so Thor now is more experienced than ever and he brings out so much of emotion in his journey here and so does Doctor Strange. Doctor Strange in this film carries the role of what would be the mentor in films like Dumbledore in the Harry Potter movies or Gandalf in the Lord of the Rings. Doctor Strange really is what would be considered the veteran. He's probably the one I'd consider the main character after Thanos. There are so many shots in here, I cannot begin to even mention or allude to them. The film is very emotional, the film is very shocking and it goes to places I never thought they would, I never thought they had the balls to go to, but the Russos directed an incredibly fascinating movie mixing sci-fi and action and character that is unprecedented for better or worse. Marcus and McFeely wrote a gigantic adventure that really has nothing to rival it, again, for better or worse. And throughout this film you do feel the grand scale of it all, you do feel the threat, you do feel the stakes, you do feel everything that these characters are going through and you feel for the villain as well because he is extremely compelling. I do have gripes with this film however, not that they are bad elements but they are weaknesses, they are things that you notice that are less good because there are so many characters because they are in such different places we have to travel from place to place to see where they are at certain points in the film, be to catch up with them or to see where they are midway through their adventure and some scenes don't flow as well as others. There are scenes that you do notice that they are much faster going by than others and you can see that we were just catching up with those characters for things along the way further to make sense. But yes, I did love this movie. Yes, Marvel has done it again. Yes, this is one of their best films. Yes, they do have a great villain. Yes, they do have fantastic character dynamics and they expand the characters beyond where we find them in the beginning of this film. There are certainly things that get you choked up, so take your tissues because Infinity War goes to places that are not imaginable and I have no idea where they go next and that is one of the best things I can say about this film. In fact, I have no idea what happened and that's why I say that Infinity War is indeed the stuff that dreams are made of. Now what did you think of Infinity War, my beautiful geekies? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Let me know in the comments below and rank your Marvel movies with Infinity War included. I will have a spoilers review on Saturday. I hope you come check that out and talk to me about everything Infinity War. What did you love? What didn't you? Let me know in the comments below and thank you so much once more for watching. I'm going to watch Infinity War again tonight and I can't wait again to bring you the spoilers review. Check out my other reviews. All the MCU movies I have reviewed on my channel, they are on a playlist including this one. So check those out and so until the next review, you stay beautiful, you stay geeky and if you haven't done so yet, click the subscribe button and the bell so you can be geeky. United!